Definitely the key to this because that tire and rubber rejuvenator just like almost made it look good without it. And then going over with the solution finish is just like bang. So that's any, the ticket right if you there. You miss any though, I want you to know you'll really see it. Really? Okay. Then I take one of these, except I would normally take one of your third caliber tires. Sure, sure. Because it is no good anymore for anything else. Mm -hmm. Wipe it over with it. And it I'll use it. that right there just to get it off the edges if it gets. Uh, this will work. Yeah, totally. But I mean, like, if it gets on the paint or anything, I'll be quick about getting it off. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because if you leave it on there solid, right, you'll get streaks that won't come out. Gotcha. Okay. Solid. You see what I mean? So you need to keep going, not stop right there, then, yes. right? Yes. You always stay in the same area. All right. Gotcha. And you really have to take your time. Mm -hmm. If you have your little looking cranny, it will even do plastics. Yeah. Do anything. I see that. Anything. It really does a little better than I expected on the plastic part. That's really good. But this is where it's really important to make sure you wipe it. Make sure you wipe the uh, Oh yeah, you gotta get really in there on that. Yeah. So, make sure you wipe all the excess. Yeah, yeah, you don't want no build up, no high spots. See, look, I'm hitting the paint, nothing. It won't cause any problems, yeah. but yeah, I see that. it all goes back to coming back and wiping it off. Oh, yeah. You have Having to get, a clean surface. Well, it's, you got to get, this stuff here requires it mostly. It makes it way shinier. Yeah, I could see that you would definitely not want any build up on that and part. And you plastic. really want to make sure you wipe the paint. But you can see a big difference between that one and that one. I mean, that's a noticeable difference right there. For the hard plastic, it really did a nice job. And what's okay, nice so we about started this over here in the beginning. Scotty laid down this whole bumper for me and all the little trim pieces. Made it look really awesome and I continued on with the bed liner trim and using the tire rubber rejuvenator as our prep tool and uh, really good microfiber and just really making it look good before we even put that stuff on. Then the solution finish just locked it in and added another depth of black that's pretty mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> yes you were, absolutely. So, I'm gonna have to take my hat off to Chris West on this one, brother. Wow, absolutely fantabulous. Haven't done this part yet, that's just been cleaned. That is the next part and then we're done. This is done, all of that is done. There's a little excess there, I think I need to wipe it off a bit. And man, it just looks great. Oh yeah, awesome. Gotta get in them cracks a little better up there and we'll be done with this side. And then I gotta get that front. I did the other side real well. I just gotta get those little grooves there and then run across this front piece. But man, this stuff looks awesome. And I'm told it's gonna last a while. I did the other side all up in here real good. And I'm gonna get this one in just a minute. So I got a few edges in here that I gotta get. And that will come out perfect. And then we'll do these side steps and be done. Really loving this chemical. The thing about using this sponge, I've flip flopped back and forth from the micro suede sheet to the sponge, is the fact that you can get it in places where it squishes in there just perfect. And then when you push it through there, man, you can see up in there, it's just so perfect. Of course, you can wipe away any dust or excess after you're done. And it looks better than it did when it was new. It's gorgeous. And the sponge gets places like in the mirrors where you can get behind the mirror. You can push it all the way to one side and literally get behind the mirror by putting the sponge up in there, pushing the mirror out, get the sponge in the side here, behind the mirror, 
And as you go down around the mirror, it comes out beautiful. And then, if that ain't enough, you can get it all up in here like this. And get all that. And then push it out. Check this out. You can go in behind the mirror and then close the mirror on the sponge and pull it back around and down through there. And look how good that came out just from that one swipe. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna hit the excess, make sure it's cleaned up nice, but it came out pretty awesome. And once I wipe that off, it's just gonna look gorgeous. Um, you can learn this product really fast. Today's my first time ever laying this down. Uh, I've seen people tape it off and do all kinds of stuff. Even Chris West himself. And I'm not gonna lie, I understand why you would do that on certain kind of cars. This truck is a work truck. And it's literally owned by dogs. And it's a dark color. So if I was working on a white color or oxidized paint, I'd be super careful, but I'm prepared to polish off anything I got to so I can get this job done before dark. Okay. All right, so everything turned out really good on Miss Wilcox car. Uh, Scotty will be back in the morning to do any kind of touch up for any kind of smudges or smears that got forgotten when we come back. And he's gonna be running the the uh, O2 generator, ozone machine. And uh, we'll do an hour of ozone in the morning and then he'll wipe it off during that time and look over the other shampoo job that he did today. And then we'll be done with Miss Wilcox and she'll be on her way to California. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for your help, Scotty. Good job. And that's all for tonight.